how do you identify a high quality product? You see, when I get my hands on the product for the first time, my senses always root back to the very basics of culinary arts and appreciation of food in general, which is something we experience on a daily basis. More so in the context of this video, you have materials, textures, visual design, and purpose. This is how I've always felt about gaming keyboards. This table knife does the job of cutting this onion just like a regular keyboard does the job of registering inputs. While this kitchen knife can do the exact same thing with more precision and speed, just like a high performance gaming keyboard. What I'm getting at here is that high performance gaming keyboards are made for a purpose. And that is to enable a gamer to be as fast and efficient as possible, which is what this is about. Bet you thought I was just some nerd who plays video games. Well, you're kind of right. What's up guys, it's Wasabi and today we are looking at the Huntman V3 Pro TKL. Just so you know, this video is not sponsored by anyone or any brand. These thoughts are my own and my personal experience using the product. As soon as you open the box, the first thing you're going to see is this card riddled with instructions. And the reason for that is because in this line of the Huntsman, Razer introduced a whole lot of new features. It's good that they included this card, it's really nice. And oh, would you look at that? It's plastic. Actually, hang on, wait a second. This is not just plastic. It's made of plastic with at least 30% post-consumer recycled content. And it's pretty neat. It's not that usual plastic that gets crumbled so easily. This looks and feels good. This is nicely done. Whoever thought of this idea, thank you for thinking of this. And of course, you have your product manual with the classic Razer sticker at the back. Inside this compartment, you'll find the wrist rest included with this keyboard. I think it looks pretty neat. And the USB-C cable. That's pretty much all that's included in the packaging. With the design, I must say this is one of the nicer looking gaming keyboards you can get right now. You'll probably see why as we go along this video. The first thing that greets you when you plug in the USB-C cable is a startup animation which looks pretty cool. And this thick knot, which I must say looks absolutely stunning on this keyboard. Something cool about it is that when you increase the volume, this gray light gets brighter. And as you decrease it, it gets dimmer and dimmer until you reach zero and it highlights in red. Or if you mute the keyboard, it immediately goes to red to let you know that your volume is on mute. This is something to note. I did notice that some people's volume knobs are kind of loose. So if it's anything looser than what you see here, you probably should get it exchanged because it shouldn't be any looser than this. So all controls are visible on this panel right here. Overall design, it's pretty simple. It's very sleek. That brushed metal finish does look pretty expensive, along with this leatherette wrist rest. While most companies went in the direction of using a Hall Effect switch with Hall Effect sensors on the keyboard, Razer improved their technology and now you have the Analog Optical Switches Gen 2. Difference between this and Hall Effect switches is pretty obvious. With Razer's optical switches, it measures the amount of light that passes through, and that's how it detects how far a key is being pressed. Keyboard comes with Razer's double shot PBT keycaps, and these are pretty good keycaps. I never had problems with slip, oil, and shine. These look and feel good pretty much all the time. All right, the keyboard feels good, but how does it sound? On Synapse is where you can configure the really cool features. You can even remap a gamepad and bind your WASD keys to the controller joystick or the left and right triggers. But you're probably looking at this keyboard for rapid trigger and adjustable actuation. So I'm going to quickly touch on that. So this is how the interface looks like. It's, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is click on the keys that you want to configure and you can individually change 
the actuation points and rapid trigger sensitivity. Pretty neat. You can select individual keys or all keys at once if you like. Uh, personally, I would only touch WASD and the spacebar. There is a cool animation that illustrates when the key is actuating and when it's resetting, it really does help with figuring out the best settings for yourself. Because this keyboard uses optical technology instead of Hall effect sensors, you can go down to as low as 0.1 millimeters for rapid trigger, which is nice. It's very, very sensitive. I guess this would appeal to someone who wants the most precise settings. Like every Razer keyboard, you can adjust the light settings to your liking. There's a lot of presets to choose from or you can customize them in chroma studio this is my go-to light settings for gaming you can adjust actuation settings and rapid trigger settings on the keyboard itself to adjust rapid trigger just press function and tab lights go into this setting and you can increase and decrease the sensitivity with the left and right keys same thing applies for adjusting actuation on the keyboard just press function and caps lock and you can adjust it the same way to save just press escape or function and tab or caps. There are preset functions and profiles on the keyboard. Function insert, home, page up, delete, and, and page down. Page up, delete, and, and page down. These are preset profiles which, uh, which come set as default, but you can customize them to how you like them. Besides the melodic sound of the keyboard, the performance of the Huntsman v TKL is pretty outstanding. Normal keyboards feel about here, this level. They make do with it, it works. But the Huntsman V3 Pro TKL feels up here on performance. It really does feel good. I think this is one of Razer's best keyboards based on performance. Using Rapid Trigger on Valorant, it felt great. It doesn't feel like I'm cheating. I don't, I don't think to the extent that I feel like I'm cheating. It feels like uh, innovation in technology, which is what you should expect from a high performance keyboard because this keyboard gives you the confidence and reliability of a high performance keyboard. It is something you would want to pick if someone were to challenge you in a 1v1. Not because rapid trigger makes everything faster, but because it's made to be an absolute weapon of precision and speed. I'm talking about performance, gaming performance and how it feels while you're gaming. I did upload a video of my gameplay in Valorant, so if you want to get some idea of what rapid trigger looks like in action, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. In conclusion, let's run through some of the things I like about this keyboard. Double shot PVT keycaps. These are very nice, high quality. I like them. No complaints here. Rapid trigger and adjustable actuation is a great thing. 100% agree. This volume knob in particular is great. I really do like the aesthetic and it feels good. Lighting of the keyboard is bright and vibrant. It's nothing glaring and it looks good with the font. Quick selection of profiles, that is a really neat feature. Partly because I have individual profiles for different games and my day-to-day -day typing. I have one for Valorant, one for Overwatch, and one for Modern Warfare 3. For any other kind of game, I just use my typing profile. That is the most regular profile setting I have. And here are a couple of things which I feel could be improved. The weight of the keyboard doesn't feel right. And what I mean is that it looks more expensive than it feels. It's like there's something missing in the weight. Maybe because they use brush aluminum on the top. And the overall case is made out of plastic. Same thing with the wrist rest. It looks great, but it just doesn't feel right. Something is, something is missing. Like maybe they should have used more solid materials, but of course that would bump up the cost. And this is already a pretty expensive keyboard. It's going for $219, just so you know. And last but not least, I would very much like a white version of this keyboard. If Razer were to make white versions of all the Huntsman V3s, the full size, the TKL, and the Mini, I'd most definitely pick the TKL. And the reason is because the full size is just way too big and gamers could use the extra space. The Mini, on the other hand, the design of it just looks very, very boring. It does look very boring. While the TKL, that looks, that looks like a real stunner. The TKL looks amazing. I think it's one of the nicest keyboards that Razer has come up with. The reason why this keyboard has been on my desk for so long is because it has rapid trigger and I do play Valorant and it's a nice looking keyboard. Other than that, I can't really think of any other reason. This sounds kind of sad. Games with movement penalties benefit the most from rapid trigger. I don't feel a need for it 
for other types of games. But again, this is personal preference and it is a nice feature to have. So back to the intro, if I were to define the Huntsman V3 Pro TKL between a table knife and a kitchen knife, I'd say it's neither. It really is more of a paring knife than anything else. Best for something very specific. In this case, tactical FPS, this keyboard really shines. So far, I've really enjoyed this keyboard. It's really good for what it is and it's great at what it's made for. But it is pretty expensive, so I, don't, I wouldn't say that it's affordable for every game out there, which is such a shame. I think Razer as a big brand should make such things affordable for more gamers because the whole company is built upon their tagline, which is for gamers by gamers. So I don't know what kind of gamers they have, maybe really rich ones, but gaming tech is really expensive these days. Not a lot of gamers have the spending power to drop $200 on a keyboard. And I do wish to see that more gamers use this keyboard because it's made for gamers. It's a really awesome keyboard with all the great functions that benefit a gamer. So yeah, that's some food for thought. All right, so the Huntsman V3 Pro TKL. These were some of my experiences with the product and some thoughts and how I feel about it. Is this something that catches your interest as a gamer or as a general consumer? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Just keep it friendly. I hope this video helps you in some way on finding out if this is something you'd be interested in. If it does, leave a like. If it doesn't, leave a like. And I'll see you in the next video. The Huntsman V3 Pro TKL. These were some impressions and expressions. Not that.